six into one thirty six divided by eight plus one thirty two divided by six twenty eight divided by sixteen minus twenty six point two five. So that's like a complicated numerator which has got some simplification within it and a similar denominator. So simplify the numerator and denominator respectively, and then go for the division part. Right? Understand, friends? Most of the questions on simplifications, though they appear to be complicated, it all depends on your speed math ability. It all depends on how quick, how quickly can you do simple calculations, right? It's not about doing complicated calculations fast. Even if you can do the simpler ones very quickly, you'll be able to arrive at the right answer much faster, right? So it's it's all about that. How quickly you simplify using the Bodmas rule, and how quickly do you do the individual calculations? Now let's look at the numerator first. Six into one thirty six divided by eight plus one thirty two. Going by the Bodmas rule, first you have to go for division. Yes or no? Here we have got multiplication, division, addition. So first is division. So go for division there. One thirty-six by eight. Or understand, in case of multiplication and division, you can always come from uh, left to right, right? For example, in this case, even if you multiply six with one thirty-six first and then divide by eight, you are going to get the same answer. So either follow division first, then multiplication, or you can proceed from uh, left to right. Uh, when it is only divisions and multiplications involved, right? So let's anyway go by the procedure. 136 by 8. What is 136? Now here, here it is very very important. If you start doing 136 by 8 in this manner, 8 ones are 8 and 5 and 6 and all that, it's going to take up a lot of time, right? If you if you do these kind of calculations on paper, you end up wasting a lot of time. So you have to be really quick in doing these simple calculations. 136 by 8. What do you do? If you have gone through the speed maths video, split the numerator. 136 is not 136. I can say it's 80 plus 56. So 80 by 8, 10. 56 by 8, 7. 10 plus 7, 17. So this part becomes 17. Then 16 into 17 plus 132. Multiply. Next multiplication. 16 into 17 is 102. Right? You must remember this. 102. 102 plus 132. 102 plus 132 is 234. So the numerator here is 234. Divide it by. Now comes the denominator. Now. Look at this. This is going to be a little complicated because we have got decimal parts here, so you have to do it do it carefully. 628 divided by 16. How much is 628 divided by 16? Now this, if you are able to do quickly, no doubt you will get the answer faster, right? This is where I believe most of you will get stuck. 628 divided by 16. There is no point in doing that on paper. Again, if you start doing it in this way, I would say do you get the right answer? You are wrong. Your method is wrong. You should be able to divide 628 by 16 orally, mentally. What do you do? Split the numerator. Six twenty-eight by sixteen. Now don't tell. Why are you writing on paper? Because I'm trying to explain it, right? Otherwise, we can just do it mentally. Six twenty-eight by sixteen. What's the logic? Always split the numerator in terms of some multiple of denominator. Six twenty-eight. Can I take it as six forty minus twelve? I can take it as six forty minus twelve. Why are we taking it as six forty minus twelve? Why can't I take it as six hundred plus twenty-eight? Because six forty is a multiple of sixteen. 16 into 4 is 64. 16 into 40 will be 640. So the idea here is try to break the numerator in a way that at least one part is some multiple of denominator. Here. So I'll take 628 as 640 minus 12 by 16. Are you able to follow? Now try and understand. You don't have to write this step. It's all visualization. 640 by 16 will be how much? 40. 64 by 16 is 4. So 40 by I mean 640 by 16 will be 40. 40 minus what's the left out part? 12 by 16. What is 12 by 16? 12 by 16 is 3 by 4. 3 by 4 is 0.75. So 40 minus 0.75. How much is that? 39.25. Are you able to follow? Same thing you try to do on paper. It's going to take a lot of time. I mean, definitely more time when compared to the direct uh, mental calculation, right? And I would say even these steps are not required. The other way of doing it is try to break 628 in terms of some other multiple of 16. For example, it can also be taken as 480 plus uh, 148. 480 plus 148 is 628. Yes or no? 480 plus 100, 580 plus 48 is 628. 480 plus 148. Now why 480 plus 148? Because 480 is divisible by 16. 480 by 16 is 30. 148 is left out. Now how do you split 148? 148 should be divided by 16. 148 is how much? 148 can be taken as uh, 144 plus 4. Now you may ask me why 144 plus 4? Because I know 144 by 16 is 9. 16 is 9 is 144. So 144 by 16 is 9. Already we have 30 and 9. 39. What is left out? 4. 4 by 16, 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is 0.25. 39.25. So, so either you split it this way or that way. Finally, you are going to get the same value, 39.25. But then how quickly you do it is what matters. So this part is 39.25.
without writing anything on paper. 39.25 minus 26.25. Forget about the decimal parts. 0 0.25, 0 0.25 gets cancelled. 39 minus 26. How much is that? 13. So your answer here is 234 by 13. Again, how do you divide? Do not put pen on paper. Don't don't start doing the uh, conventional division. That takes a lot of time. Split 234. 234 can be taken as, I would say, a faster way of getting the answer here is take it as 260 minus 26. Why 260? Because I know 260 is divided by 13. 260 minus 26 is 234. 260 by 13, 20. 26 by 13, 2. 20 minus 2, 18 should be the answer. That's your answer, 18. And believe me, if you are not writing all these steps, it's going to be very neat, clean procedure. And see, it's not about doing it neatly. You're not going to get more marks if you solve the question neatly. It's about cutting down the number of steps, right? The less you write on paper, the faster you get the answer. The more marks uh, you can score, right? The faster you become and uh, your score also improves. So that's the idea. That's the idea behind not writing steps on paper, trying to do it neatly, right? So try to understand all the speed maths techniques that you have learned. I mean, you have gone through the speed maths video. There are 16 parts in it where we have learned additions and subtractions, various multiplication techniques, divisions, square roots, squares, cube roots, cubes, percentage related calculations. All these are very, very important, right? All these methods and techniques that you have learned there are going to help you somewhere or the other when you are solving a question related to simplifications, right? So that's what you need to follow here.